Hey guys, welcome back. It's Missy. If you're new here, welcome. I'm As always, I'm so excited you're here. If you are not subscribed already, please click the button right at the bottom and subscribe. I don't care if I have one subscriber or 500,000. I'm saying a million because a million is a little too scary. I genuinely just want to help anyone, even if it's one person, that's all I care about, making sure you guys are okay and you guys don't go down the path or live the life I've had to. If I can help prevent someone suffering, then I'm happy. Speaking of surviving, today's video is on how to survive being around a narcissist, whether that's in a relationship or a family member or even a boss. In my last video, we talked about what happens when you stay with a narcissist, which I will link down below. If you haven't seen that video, you may want to see that one first. So if you have to be around a narcissist, you may be in a relationship with one because you are staying for the kids or there's financial reasons why you can't leave. You may not be ready or there may be religious reasons why you can't go and it's just not the time. So the number one thing is it's really important that you accept that you can't fix them and it's not your responsibility. They are not a gen <clears throat> they are not a genuine person. They are a shell of a person. They see you as a narcissistic supply and you need to accept that. They are the way they are. And there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can say. You cannot change their mind because they don't have the capability to self-reflect and they don't care. The next thing is that you want to focus on yourself because you are becoming aware of yourself and you're recognizing like, okay, this, they're mistreating me. This is not normal. Like I had thought it was originally. I am being manipulated. I am being, I am dealing with gaslighting. You want to focus on yourself and building that strong sense of self so you don't get stuck in that cycle of abuse and getting trapped in their love bombing and then getting abused again and it's just over and over again. You need to form your strong sense of self. You need to figure out who are you, what are your wants and needs. You need to work on validating yourself so you don't look for your validation from this narcissist. You want to work on empowering yourself and feeling good about yourself so that way it's a lot harder for your narcissist to knock you down because they will try to knock you down. They will try to think of every single thing that bothers you. They know it makes you tick, they know it makes you happy, and they use that to their advantage. So you want to focus on yourself and forming a strong sense of self and, and making yourself strong so they can't get to you. The other thing you're gonna to wanna, to, the other thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to wanna to set boundaries. So you may not, be able to trust them with certain things anymore. You may not be able to talk to them about certain things anymore. You may not want to do certain things with them anymore because you now know that you can't trust this person and you need to set boundaries. Now the thing is, you don't want to tell them that you're setting boundaries. I've had this happen with clients where they're like, well, I told them that I'm setting boundaries and they didn't listen. You don't want to tell them that because they will want to disrespect your boundaries and they don't want you to have boundaries because they want to manipulate you and control you to be who they want. They want you are their supply and that's all that they care about. So you cannot tell them that you are setting boundaries. You just need to set them and stand strong in your boundaries. So if you don't want them to talk about a certain topic, then you say, I am not talking about this topic any longer. You make sure you stand firm and you don't let them bully you or push you to continue to talk about that thing or force you to do this certain thing. If you don't want to go out at 9 p.m., then you make sure you stand strong and you do not go out at 9 p.m. It's your job to take care of yourself. <laughs> My dog's snoring. Narcissists don't care about your wants and needs. You need to make your wants and needs clear and that means your boundaries have to stand firm. Their job is to push your boundaries. Their job in their mind is to push your boundaries. Your job is to stand strong. You cannot trust what they say. You need to learn to trust yourself because they have pushed down your wall for so long, they have hurt your trust for yourself. So you need to build that back up and trust your instinct. Trust that feeling. When something doesn't feel right, trust that and go with it. When something feels okay, you go with that too. When you're trusting yourself, it's all about trial and error. You have to build that trust with yourself again. So you're gonna make mistakes and that's okay. But then you learn from it. You say, okay, I realized that that wasn't the right thing or that was the right thing. 
That's how you build trust with yourself again. Listening to yourself, not everyone around you, especially not your narcissist. Now, during the love bombing period, there are times, or not just the love bombing period, when there's times when they seem like they're kind of normal, like it's just at a standstill. That's what you need to take it for what it is. It is just a moment in time. Because like I've mentioned, they're not a genuine person. Those are not genuinely good moments. That's just part of the cycle until they manipulate you again or they hurt you again. A lot of times you will get that glimpse of hope of, oh, maybe they're not so bad. I, there's been so many times where I was confused. I was like, well, are they really that bad if they would do this and this? Or I would say like, maybe I've been too hard on them. Maybe I need to stop being so hard on them. No, it is exactly what you think it is. This is just a moment in time and you need to take it for what it is. Like I mentioned earlier, accept, for them, accept them for the way they are. Stay away from criticizing them. There's going to be times where they're going to really do, they're going to do really stupid things or things that you don't agree with. And I'm sure in the past you would say something and then you would get tormented for even bringing it up. So you need to just accept that they are not the person you had hoped they were. They are not the person they try to show you because they're always about protecting their image and pretending they're this certain person. So you wanna stay away from criticizing, but that doesn't mean you stay away from standing up for yourself. And what I mean is that if they are completely disrespecting you, you have every right to say, please don't talk to me like that. Or you have every right to walk away when they are mocking you or they're trying to get a reaction out of you. With a narcissist, you want to respond, not react. So a reaction is when you react with your emotions. You may get defensive or may, you may yell because you're sick and tired of things or you may explode because you feel like you're crazy and when you feel like you're crazy in your mental state, your mental sanity is being questioned, you can start to panic. Obviously anyone would. And it can cause you to be angry yourself and react with anger. And then they get, they got you, they trapped you. They're looking for every little excuse to attack you so that you look like you're in the wrong. So you don't want to give them that ammo. You want to respond to them. You want to disarm them. So things you could say is, I'm sorry you feel that way, but I don't feel that way. Or you could tell them, I'm not responsible for your feelings. The whole thing with responding is that you take your emotions out of it. So that way they can't, they don't really know what really makes you tick anymore or what's getting to you because they've lost kind of track of who you are. It is perfectly okay for you to kind of call them out without exactly calling them out. It's more so protecting yourself and letting them know what you will and will not tolerate. They'll less likely do those things to you if you stand your ground and you show you're serious because they don't wanna look like the bad guy. They're all about protecting their image. So if they sense that you are kind of drifting away, they may start with the love bombing again or they may go into a narcissistic rage, but you have the tools to walk away and not tolerate that. The less you tolerate their abusive behavior, the less they will be able to do it because they can't get away with it anymore because you're not easily manipulatable. And they will try different tactics and they won't know what really works because you are responding rather than reacting. And it will cause them to get off your back and unfortunately, look for other supply but the minute they know they can't use you as supply you're kind of useless and you don't want to be their supply so make sure you don't tolerate that mistreatment we teach people how to treat us and you need to determine what you will tolerate and what you will not tolerate stand your ground you want to focus on yourself when you focus on yourself, you want to say positive things to yourself. You want to encourage yourself. You want to bring yourself up and you want to make sure to not believe the things they're telling you because they will try to knock you down. And this is very hard. It's hard to do that when you constantly hear in your ear over and over again, you're bad or you're abusive or you're this terrible person. The thing is you got to make sure that you have some sort of outlet where you can vent to your friends which I know sometimes it's hard because friends don't always understand because the narcissist has such a good way of pretending like they're good, but just journaling and make sure you're validating yourself and saying, I know that they are not a healthy person, but I am a healthy person and I'm gonna trust myself. And the last thing is it's a survival tool. It's not something you can do every day, but it's something that can give you, it can buy you some time. And it's called fluffing. And it doesn't really feel good, especially when you have figured out who your narcissist is. It takes swallowing your pride and kind of enabling them a little bit. So what fluffing is, is basically 
when you feed your narcissist ego because they have a huge grandiose sense of self and you kind of give them a compliment like let's say they make a dinner and you say wow that was a really delicious dinner you're such a great cook or let's say they came up with some idea and you'd be like that's a really great idea thank you for coming up with that and it what it does is it buys you some time because they're getting positive affirmations so it's going to encourage them to try to be more positive towards you and yes they will respond in an annoying way like i know right or yeah that that was and again remember it's not your job to correct them or fix them they are that way you're just playing on their grandiosity this gets them off your back for a little bit like let's say you can sense that they're maybe about to explode this can help you to buy you some time so they explode later Maybe you're emotionally drained and you just you need a little bit of a break or let's say with the boss you need more time you know maybe something negative is about to happen but it can help you to buy you more time so that way you have some time to figure it out it gets them off their trail of abuse it's kind of like resetting the cycle of abuse in a way as sick as that sounds but use it as a tool when needed it is not something you can use like i said it's not something you can use daily but it is something that can help and after you do it you may feel dirty you may feel like a manipulator you will feel like you're enabling them and it can feel terrible because maybe you yourself feel like you're lying and maybe you fear that they're just gonna have a big head and it can be very exhausting because it's taking energy away from you so you will need to detox you'll need to journal take a bath take a run and just get all that energy out of you and just know you are a survivor and you are surviving abuse and you have to do what you got to do to survive. So with narcissists, you want to accept them for the way they are. You can't fix them. You can't change yourself. There's nothing really you can do for them. You just need to focus on yourself, working on yourself, encouraging yourself, saying positive things, reversing that self-talk because they have imprinted in your mind that you're the certain person and you want to work on healing yourself so you become strong and you don't tolerate that abuse anymore you're forming that strong sense of self and you're building that trust with yourself understand you can't trust them and you need to work on trusting yourself and you're going to set those boundaries for yourself and trust that instinct and that you know what's best for you and you know what to do moving forward don't react to them make sure you're responding that means just responding to them without emotion so they don't know exactly how you feel and it's a lot harder to manipulate you and control you because they don't know what gets you and what doesn't in times of need use the fluffing technique give them a little compliment throw them a little bone so it can get them off your back and so that way you can have some time whether it's to get away whether it's you need emotional time whether you need your boss to get off your back whatever it is you have that tool and then you're going to want to detox because it can feel very dirty and manipulative but you're not remember you're not on their level you are surviving stay away from criticizing them because it's not going to do any good it's not going to do you any good you don't want to criticize you want to more so just focus on standing up for yourself and letting them know what you will and you will not tolerate what do you guys think do you have any more tips on how to survive a narcissist? Leave it all in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, and share with someone who you think may need it. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye guys. This gets you, this gets you, you cannot fix yourself to be a different type of way. That's disgusting. Oh. What are you doing?